histology of the fibrocartilage. This cartilage is also called as the white fibrocartilage. On superficial examination, this fibrocartilage looks very much like dense fibrous tissue and in sections, this cartilage contains of typical cartilaginous cells, those are surrounded by the capsules. The matrix contains numerous collagen bundles, amongst which few chondrocytes are present. In these fibers merge with surrounding connective tissue. There is no perichondrium over the fibrocartilage. And this type of cartilage without the perichondrium have great tensile strength combined with greater elasticity. So it does not have perichondrium. And this type of cartilage has great tensile strength and greater elasticity. The, the type of collagen present in the fibrocartilage is different from the type of collagen that is present in the hyaline cartilage. And remember the fibrocartilage does not undergo calcification as to that of the hyaline cartilage. So coming to this diagram, the fibrocartilage is characterized by the presence of the prominent collagen fibers. Those are arranged in the bundles with the rows of the chondrocytes, those chondrocytes intervening between the bundles of this collagen fibers. So all these fibers are the collagen fibers with the ground tissue. And these are the chondrocytes which lie in a row in between all these bundles of the collagen fibers. The perichondrium is absent in this fibrocartilage and this kind of cartilage can be confused with the appearance of a tendon. So for the differentiation, you must remember the chondrocytes in the fibrocartilages are round in shape whereas the fibrocytes are flattened and elongated in the tendon. In the distribution or the location, the fibrocartilage is mostly found in the secondary cartilaginous joints or the symphysis. And this symphysis includes the joint of the vertebrae, that means between the body of the vertebrae, where this cartilage forms the intervertebral disc, the pubic symphysis and the manibrostendral joint. So for this secondary cartilaginous joints or the symphysis, you remember all the midline joints in the body constitutes of this symphysis that means the manibrin sterni the joints between the body of the vertebrae and the pubic symphysis and this fibrocartilage is also present in some synovial joints at the joint cavity that is partially or completely subdivided by an articular disc so these articular discs of some joints are made up of fibrocartilage in examples are the temporomandibular joint TMJ, sternoclavicular joint and some menisci of the knee joint. This fibrocartilage is also present in the glenoid labrum that is present in the shoulder joint and in the acetabular labrum that is present in the hip joint and the fibrocartilage is also present in some situations where the tendon run in deep grooves onto the bone and the grooves are lined by the fibrocartilage. And remember the fibrocartilage is often present where the tendons are inserted into the bone. So guys this is all about the fibrocartilage. If you like this video do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.